Hello everyone, this is Oshani from Chita.com. Today, we will be working on a very interesting problem from ISIB study math entrance. The problem says that suppose you have a function f such that f of f of x, that is if, if you compose f with f, f of f of x is x. Can we say that the function is 1 to 1? Can we say the function is on 2? So we will learn quite a bit using this one problem. I will show you how to test out one oneness and on ness of a function. I will also modify this problem slightly and give you a challenge problem at the end of this video. If you can solve the challenge problem, put it in the comment section. If you are new to this channel, welcome. We have outstanding programs on mathematics, physics, computer science, Olympiads, ISICMI entrances and research projects for school students. We have been doing this from 2010. Hundreds of students of Chinta are in some of the best places in the world like Harvard, Oxford, ISI, CMI and so on. Check the link in the description for more detail. Let's get back to this problem. It says that f of f of x is x. We want to test out whether it is 1 to 1 and on to. Let me quickly explain the concept of 1 to 1 functions. This is also sometimes known as injection, injective functions. One to one functions are quite simple. I will show you a counter example, a function that is not one to one. Let's suppose g is the function. I'll give the name g. The domain of the function, that is the set of input values, are a, b, and c. So a, b, c are the possible input values. And codomain, the possible output values are x, y, z, w. With this setup, let me explain why this function is not on 2. So the function is like this that a goes to x, b goes to x, c goes to y. So that means g of a, g of a is x, g of b is also x. So two of the input values is going to the same output value. Therefore the function is not 1 to 1. Everything should, should go to separate places. So I can make this function 1 to 1 by changing it of course. Let's say if b goes to z, now a goes to x, b goes to z, c goes to y. In this situation, the function is 1 to 1, but it is not on to that. This is on to 1, but let me write it, not on to. On to has another word, it's called surjection. Surjection. Surjection, what does it mean? Well, it means that every member in the codomain has a pre-image. There is one arrow coming to it. Some element of the domain is getting mapped to that element of the codomain. For every element, this is true. So this function, that no arrow is coming to W. No arrow is coming to W. Therefore, it is not on to. In fact, I can draw, so I can create a function which is on to but not one on one. On to but not one on one. So again, let me try let me try this. So we have domain as A B and the co A B C codomain as X and Y. So A goes to X, B goes to X, C goes to Y. This is an example of a function that is on to but not one on one. Not one on one because A and B are going to the same element. Right? So I hope you understand the concept of one to one functions and on to functions. Now let's go back to the problem and try to understand how to solve it. Okay, so the questions, let me revisit the question. It says that f of f of x is equal to x. The question is, is the function or one to one or not. So this is how you can test it out and you should be able to write this down very methodically when you are actually writing down the solution. It's a proof by contradiction. It's a proof by contradiction. That means you assume that the function is not one to one and show some contradiction. So suppose f is f is not one to one. So x1 and x2 be two different elements of the domain and suppose they are mapped to the same element 
x3 in the codomain. So that means f of x1 is equal to x3, f of x2 is also equal to x3. This is what will happen if the function is not one to one. Okay, now let's do one thing. Let us compose f with f. So f of f of x1 is equal to f of x3, f of f of x2 is equal to f of x3. Right? I just composed f with f. Now, on the left hand side, the condition of the function says this one is x1 and this one is x2. Right? f of f of x1 is x1, f of f of x2 is x2 because that's what's given in the function. Right? It's given that f of f of x is x. f of f of x is x. So, f of f of x1 is x1, f of f of x2 is x2. But then, what we found is f of x3 is x1, f of x3 is x2. f of x3 is x1, f of x3 is also x2. How can that be? How can one input produce two outputs? It's a function. That cannot happen. Given one input, there has to be only one output. Right? So, therefore, we reached a contradiction. A contradiction. Therefore, the function is one to one for sure. All right. Now the question is: Is the function on two? Is it on two? Okay. Again, let's try it by contradiction. Suppose there is no there is no input coming to there, there is no arrow coming to some element x three. X three has no element coming to it. That's fine. So let's work with that. X three has no pre-image. under f so if you apply f to the domain no element of the domain is getting mapped to x3 let's see then what happens let's compute f of x3 f of x3 x3 is also in the domain remember the domain and the range of this function as the same set capital x the same set capital x right it says f of f of x so you are the domain and the range of the function is the same thing. Okay, so f of x3 is something, so x3 is also here, x3 is also here. I'm just saying there is no arrow coming to x3. I think it's coming to x3 and I want to show a contradiction. So definitely x3 itself is going somewhere. Let's suppose x3 is going to x4. So f of x3 is x4. Now let's apply f again. So if I apply f again to both sides, what I get is f of x4 and the right left hand side is now x3. So f of x4 is x3. Which means x4 here is mapped to x3. This is awesome. We have found a pre-image of x3. We have found a pre-image of x3. Therefore, given any element in the codomain, we found a pre-image of that. So, the function is also on to. The function is one to one. The function is also on to. This is how you analyze whether a function is on to one or on to or not. I'll give you a challenge question as promised. If I do it three times, if it's given that f of f of x, f of x is x. That is if I triple compose the function with itself and it's x, it's an identity. Can we say something about the one-to-one -one or the on-to-ness of the function? If you can, put it in the comment section. Give me a detailed analysis of how this works. Okay? Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.